what's going on everybody crazy dog back with another video and in this video i'm going to be talking about another potential wide receiver trade target for the cleveland browns as we are closing in on the start of the 2022 nfl regular season as of course the browns head to carolina to face old friend baker mayfield and the panthers week one that should be a fun game and you already know i'll be streaming that game so i hope you guys tune in should be a doozy but you look at the Browns receiving core heading into week three of the preseason. And after Amari Cooper and Donovan Peoples-Jones, who are both very, very good receivers, we really don't have much at receiver. We have Michael Woods II, who is currently injured. He actually got hurt the day before I went to training camp, because of course. And then you have David Bell, who's just coming off an injury, although he is looking good so far. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of him. You know, uh, he actually had a nice little streak where he wasn't dropping the ball. Which was nice. You know, it's good to have a reliable receiver who can, you know, catch the ball and get first downs. Because that's the biggest thing that you need out of a receiver. You know, he's not fast, but he pretty much has glue hands for the most part. He has had some drops. And as long as that doesn't, you know, uh, dampen his confidence... I think he'll be really, really good. Because what happens when your confidence gets shot, you end up like Anthony Schwartz, who is essentially all speed and no hands right now. You know, he can catch the ball. It's just that he has no confidence in his hands. That's the thing. Because if he can just get confident in his ability to catch the football, which so far, as of late, he has looked like he has been able to catch it. He's made some good catches and stuff. Especially in traffic. I think the thing with him is, he's afraid of getting hit. Which, being a receiver, you can't be afraid to get hit. You know? Because what happens is, you get scared of getting hit, and then you get what they call gator arms. Which is kind of ironic, con considering uh, he's a uh, Auburn Tiger. <laughs> he's not even a Florida Gator. An Auburn Tiger with gator arms. Eesh. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, if Anthony Schwartz can catch the ball consistently, he could really be a weapon. Because right now, he's mainly useful as a uh, gadget player. You know? The only time you really see him get the ball is on jet sweeps and stuff. It's like, come on, man. You gotta learn, you know, gotta have faith in your hands. Because I'm telling you, he has that wicked speed. I mean, once he finds out how to, you know, use his hands correctly, really good. But after Woods, Bell, and Schwartz, what do we really have? Javon Wims? The guy who essentially sucker punched a corner a couple years ago? <laughs> what? You have Mike Carley Jr., who's a rookie, undrafted from the U. And then we have Jamarcus Bradley, who's been here a couple years. He's been all right, but, you know, he really hasn't had a whole lot of playing time. Who do we have after those guys? Aesop Winston? And I'm pretty sure that's it. Like, yeah. Like I said, after Coop and DPJ, our receiving core takes a massive fall. Like, it's very top-heavy. Now, the receiver that I'm going to talk about in this video is a guy who really hasn't had a whole lot of opportunities to show out with his current team. And that guy is Denzel Mims. As a little while ago, as you can see by the tweet above me, and I quote, Jets wide receiver Denzel Mims has requested a trade or release from the team. Former second round pick out of Baylor would like a fresh start. And if you ask me, I would not be shocked if the Browns at least gave the Jets a call and inquired. Because we need all the help we can get at receiver right now. I mean, you put Denzel Mims at our receiving core, you know, you have Amari Cooper work with him. I think we could really bring out the best in him. I mean, Andrew Berry loves to give youngsters a second chance. I mean, look what he did with Ronnie Harrison. Brought Ronnie Harrison in, and Ronnie was actually doing really well his first year here. And then last year, he kind of took a little bit of a fall, but, hey, you know, it is what it is. And then, of course, we brought back Ronnie, so maybe Ronnie can, uh, you know... Have a rejuvenation of his career this year. That'd be nice. You know? 
because you got to have faith in a guy to, in order to bring him back. And uh, I think that's what we like him. So see what he does. Now, here is the official statement from Mims's agent, Ron Slavin. This tweet was posted by Ian Rappaport, and he's going to read the statement. You guys can read it at your own will. Essentially, uh, his agent said that Mims just wasn't getting the opportunities, which I don't know what you were expecting, my guy, considering what the Jets have done at receiver the last couple of years. I mean, they went out and got Corey Davis. I think they gave him the bag. I don't think he was traded. I think he was signed via free agency. But yeah, and then in the draft, they go out and get Elijah Moore, who is really good. And of course, they got my guy Garrett Wilson. So yeah, Denzel Mims was not going to beat out a guy that they gave the bag to. And it's always very hard to beat out one, let alone two first round picks or high draft picks. So yeah, essentially the writing was on the wall for Mims that he's out of here. He's out of there. So we'll see what happens. We'll see where he ends up. Do I think he's a Brown? I don't know. And then you look at his stats and yeah, not much there. He has not reached the end zone yet in his career. He's played in 20 games, started 11, 31 receptions on 67 targets, 490 yards. I believe he's averaged about 16 yards per reception, which isn't too bad. That's pretty much averaging a first down per reception. That's good. It's just he's not getting the opportunities. And I think if you give him the opportunities here, I think he would show out for sure. But we'll see what happens. So let me know what you guys think of the Browns possibly maybe going after Denzel Mims. I have not heard anything about us going after him. I'm just talking about if we did. I have not heard anything about us doing it. But if we did, I wouldn't mind it. I really wouldn't. Now, uh, of the three trade targets that I've mentioned, Darius Slayton, Jalen Rager, and Denzel Mims, which one would you guys want? Let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see what happens. So with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go Browns. And I'll see you Saturday for Browns and Bears Week 3 preseason game. By the way, Steelers are going to play. Jacoby Brissett, time to see what you got, buddy. Just don't get hurt, okay? Okay, I'll see you guys later. Crazy Dog, let's go Browns. And I'm out. Bye-bye. Oh